Good afternoon. We're so glad to hear your daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, come back every day. Here's a weird lunch. Hummus, pickle, tomato. That's definitely Frank's hot sauce. Spinach. I've given up on the work week. It's Friday. Friday. Still this is like working. Lunch room this is Friday. Like, call me lunch lady Peter. <laughs> they are called lunch monitors now. Is it no that's not that's not what they call them. <laughs> They're like food distribution clerks. I was quoting New Girl. I know, I'm trying to, that's not, I don't think that's what they said in New Girl though. Yeah. Ah. If it helps, they call us lunch monitors now. Oh, that is right. Yeah. We got vegan mac, vegan fake dogs, and potatoes. Yeah. And a very suspicious doggy. Wow. It's a lot of carbs, but sometimes that's just what you need. Donut box. Sarah says, she knows me so well. I said, which one do you want? She goes, either this one or this one. And then she looks at me and goes, but only get one. <laughs> I was honestly gonna get both. Get yes. So over here you can get slushies. You can get versions with Jack Daniels in it. And St. Petersburg Distillery Oak and Palm Spice Rum. Or, you can get candy in it. That's crazy. How did I not know this existed? Oh, that looks so good. Whoa, I did not know these were going to be now like imagine this. if I got both of these. Yeah. I didn't think these Four were like, going to be that huge. Four bucks. They're soft and crunchy and delicious. I bit my fork. <laughs> that was absolutely delicious. So good. It's the perfect amount of sweetness. Warm. Perfect amount of softness. Crunchy on the outside. Good amount of chocolate. But we're trying to, we wanted to recreate this photo from Somebody Feeds Phil because we're actually like, it's called Feed Phil. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like a partnership, but it's almost like a club to it's just like promote. It's like anybody could do it. Yeah, I don't think it was special. Like we no, emailed. No, you just emailed and say, but I want to talk about Somebody Feeds Phil. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a wannabe influencer program. Yeah. But, but anybody. Anybody. So we're gonna try to make a side by side comparison of like one of us eating food like Phil does. Mm -hmm. Because exactly uh, six days from when you're watching this, season four goes on Netflix and we can't wait. We're so excited. And it's just fun to talk about. You guys know we already talked we about Phil, Phil enough, so it'd be fun to we do it. We watched it all day long today while we were working. But yeah. it was funny, we went to the donut box thinking that we'd get a donut for this photo. I think we'll probably put the photo in here uh -huh. that we end up remaking. But we thought it was gonna be like a donut. And then we saw those donut holes and we're like, oh, that doesn't work uh, with the photo we're remaking. Yeah. But we still had to get the donut holes. Of yeah, so we'll get something handheld elsewhere. And it's perfect because Chicagoans, in the Chicago episode, they talk about how Chicagoans like to eat with their hands. So it makes sense. I keep bumping Sarah's belly. <laughs> Standing next to her. But I did a request, Sarah, that we watch a little bit of the Epcot, Epcot experience because I haven't seen it since pre COVID. Yeah. Like the stars in an endless universe, each of us is unique. In fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of the world. We call it Epcot. Let's go discover that together. Water is ancient. It has journeyed around our world since the beginning of time. Welcome to the digital city where playing is a way of life. Yeah. The rocket unplugs you and starts things. As the day fades and dusk turns to night, Epcot comes to life in a global celebration of Disney music. Um, we came out of the Epcot experience and it's very rainy now. But we did find a seat for Sarah to relax for a little bit. But I mean, the reason we're here is for me to walk this baby out, but I still gotta take her. You're not being soggy. That's true. 
Well, this makes me so sad. I've never seen that before. Ooh. Ominous World Showcase to begin. <laughs> but the park is open until 9 o'clock I know, how can we leave with the little bit of rain? Like, You know we don't stop for that. Yeah. We even have rain covers coming for the stroller. Did we say yet yeah, that we ordered our stroller? We didn't! Ah. Ah, we ordered our bugaboo! And it should actually get here like in two days. Wild. Alright, I don't know how well the photo reenactment's gonna actually go with it being so dark out. But we're going to Earth Eats to grab the slider. And then we have to find something that's like lit to take this photo. Mm. We didn't think about that. Oh. <laughs> what is that called? Do it again. The floss. Remember this? Oh, I gotta that's use my. <laughs> Is that gonna get? Is that, <laughs> is that gonna? On. Is that what's gonna cause James to get coming? We just replicated this photo. We'll put it in. Sarah's gonna make a, a crossover, and that's what we're gonna post on Instagram to say, "Go watch Phil next week." <laughs> <laughs> uh, best part about this whole thing is we literally just bought this for a pop, and now we get to eat it. <laughs> I, it is a absolutely gorgeous world showcase. The rain came in, cooled everything off, and there's a cool breeze. I'm never leaving here. I also have this in my pocket because we used <laughs> that as a tripod. Do you think we're going to Le Cellier or are we going to Canada Far and Wide? Canada Far and Wide. We realized that Le Cellier, our, what, our anniversary celebration beginning of August, was totally what broke me when I got the beer cheese soup. And I have no self-control, so if Sarah's broken, I'm broken. That timing, one minute. Legend says the word Canada comes from Kanata. Canada has remained a cultural mosaic, a place where you can keep and nurture your language and traditions while embracing the future. All of which has made Canada one of the most diverse, modern, and natural places on the globe. There she goes again with her pro walking. The UK is a perfect place. It is. Isn't it wild that we had a C section schedule for yesterday? Yeah. But here we are, rocking and rolling away. We gotta do our best. Yep. Park so lively and nice. Yes, it is. Now, if only our guy was over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Um, I've never seen these two. Also <laughs> oh, poor, poor, so. This one is one of my favorites. We've been hoping that. So it's weird because the parks, with the current state of things, they're not like widely stocking a lot of World Showcase random stuff. And we really want some balsamic vinaigrette from Modena, from the Italy Pavilion. And if, I think of course we could just go online and buy it, but you know it's just like different when you're at the World Showcase. But they haven't had it restocked in, since they reopened. That's like it. my biggest advice is like, if you see something you want, just, just get, get it. it. Because you never know. I think I need to follow that advice. I think you, I think you do. <laughs> We were just talking before, so we were sitting in Germany, taking a rest, hoping this this baby starts crawling his way out. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about how we haven't seen and just basked in the glory of a nighttime World Showcase Lagoon with all the lights flickering off it in so, so long because we haven't been here. We're like, what are we supposed to do? We also just haven't been able to just bask in nighttime. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're basking in nighttime. Specifically. Thank you for accommodating this pause in your day while we allow for the safe journey of one of our friendship boats. <laughs> oh, here there it goes. 
In total, there what about are two friendship, friendship boats? boats that travel across World Showcase Lagoon. Of those eight, two of our yeah. friendships have been running There's since one. Epcot's grand opening on October There's two. 1st, Whoa, I've never seen all the little ducks. Wait, I was wrong. There's one, two, three. There's a fourth one and a fifth one over there. But then I remember that like these these friendship boats service to go to Crescent Lake as well. Not so there's the ones that just go around World Showcase Lagoon. Then there's the ones that go to Crescent Lake Hollywood Studios in here. Wow. Yes, who, who else has seen the photos of the harmonious barges back there? <laughs> we made our way in to the annual pass holder store in Germany. Yes. Sorry, we got pulled into line, but we got these socks. We got two pairs of these. <laughs> One for each of us. Christmas lumberjack. And this is for me. Look at this awesome sweatshirt. I love a good crew neck. And in the back, guess how much this plus two pairs of socks was? Yes. Twenty-two dollars. Wild. Which is crazy because like this itself is forty-five, and those socks are ten dollars each. Yeah. But everything in there was fifty percent off. Plus. And plus your thirty percent annual pass. Crazy. Sorry we didn't show more of what was in there. Um, but maybe I'll link a couple of videos. Like I'll do a quick search. Because I know that people have done like straight up videos on what's there. Um, and I'll put them in the description. <laughs> Sorry, I just reminded Sarah <laughs> how far away we are from our car. Oh, I never put, we never said, so like I took a clip of how far our, we parked in the parking lot. Like, oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, this is for documentation. Look at how far back we're parked. Literally the end of the parking lot. <laughs> We're gonna lock this baby up for sure. We for sure have parked farther, but that's pretty far. And I just stood up and said, "You realize how far away we are?" And she basically almost started crying. Well, at least we're more less than halfway. Yeah, you're right. By what? One country. You are the very best. Did you know that? I have a love-hate relationship with this expansion to Norway because to me they, they could have used this spot for a whole other country but I do like that they expanded to it but they to me they only added a gift shop and a meet and greet whereas like what they did with France is they took more land on the backside and they're adding a whole attraction but either way I love this place I know one day updates and construction will be done at Epcot and I hope I think this path will still be here but if it's not, I will forever believe that this is the absolute most gorgeous perspective of Space Earth. So do you think this is the last one? It's hard because I think it is, but at the same it's time, the this is the easiest park, park pass. To go to. Like we and the have best hours. Right. Like it works the best during the week for us, and it's easier to get this park pass. Like it's impossible. Like I would love to go to studios tomorrow. Yeah. But we can't go, even though we're Platinum Plus annual pass holders. We can't go to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. We can't go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. We can't go to studios tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. We're watching more Phil. I don't know what's happening over here. I'm trying to teach you to be comfortable with blankets. She's not a blanket dog. She's gonna be a blanket dog. Um, and I'm just bouncing. On my exercise ball. Oh yes, it is way too late. Oh, better staying too. I make this quick. All right, it is October twenty third. October twenty third. By Fik Nat Han. Smile, breathe, and go slowly. Sarah and he fell asleep in the living room. I've been watching way too much. Somebody feed Phil. He is a website. I've discovered so much about Phil today. He has a website. Go to philrosenthalworld.com. It's incredible. We'll put the link down below. He has lists of all the websites and locations for all the locations he's been to in all three seasons. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>